Now look at this shot here and just watch, that's the break, that's the front break of Eddie Lawson's Kajiba. Now watch the delicate touch, you can see him changing gear there, going through the box, there's a little squeeze on the brakes, carbon fibre fiber disc brakes, but I'm amazed Nick just how subtle it is, there's no great handful on the brakes. No, not like you or me, Darren. We were on the movie grubbing everything we could find. Yet. It's just a couple of points on the course where he comes to the hairpin. He uses two fingers, but most of the time, it's a very delicate one finger operation, breaking into the bends all the time. And it really does just show you uh, how what a delicate operation it is, just breaking it. It's a marvellous illustration. Just look at the finger then, and he just takes it off as he accelerates hard. Now you'll see the rev counter spinning to you uh, to the left hand side of your picture they're getting right up to 12,000 revs that really surprises a lot of people who've not been on a motorcycle drive motor cars every day can't believe how the revs go up and down so you can watch that too but just watch the lines they take of the angles as Barry Sheen has said so many times when you're leaning in the bike you turn the head up a little bit and you get the rider's view so now you straighten your head up and you can actually see what Eddie Lawson is looking at now let's talk about Eddie Lawson Kajiba he went there offered a lot of money to test the bike to sort it out he checked out the whole scene and he's just turned this whole team around amazing what he's done in a month or two months is quite remarkable eddie lawson four times world champion he won the opening three of those world titles on a yamaha then he switched the honda everybody said he'll never win a world title on a honda well of course he did then he went back to yamaha after really an unhappy year last year and then Kajiva came up offering a lot of money and everybody thought, oh, it's Eddie Lawson's going to go to Kajiva, take a lot of money, probably retire in a couple of years' time. But that's not what's happened. Eddie Lawson is determined to make this Italian machine work and uh, very impressive in Japan. What is lying fifth fastest in practice at the moment. If anybody's going to make this machine work, if anybody's going to give Kajiva a roster position or could we dare say a Grand Prix win, it's going to be Eddie Lawson. There's the man. First Grand Prix back in 1981. Championships 84, 86, 88, 89. Age 32, 30 Grand Prix wins. And that's the man on the bike. You can see that delicate touch on the brakes. There he goes again. Just that one or two fingers. Just strokes the, the brake lever as he's going around. But this man is just great to watch. I mean, he's a great competitor. He's also a fantastic race, race tactician. And that's the big difference. Come race day, this man always rides totally different. That's right. And it's interesting, actually, out of all the top runners, in fact, out of everybody out there this afternoon, in this final practice session, Eddie Lawson is the only one that has gone faster than he has done in the previous sessions. He's now down in the 131. So he really is with the big boys now. 131.948 is currently fifth fastest. But Eddie Lawson, with 20 minutes to go, is the only rider that has gone quicker this afternoon. And what a great view of the Eastern Creek circuit. I think it gives viewers a real idea just how tight and how demanding this circuit is for riders, how fit they've got to be. Fastest part of the circuit down the main straight.